All right, guys. We're here to talk about a few things that's been going on in the world that I wanted to talk about. And it is COVID-19. So you better be ready if you're going to live in this new age that we live in. This new age we live in now, you are destined for death. By living in this world we live in now, there is no guarantee that you will survive. If you did not get killed in the first wave of COVID, then there was a second wave. If you did not get killed in that second wave of COVID, there was a third wave. And if you did not get killed in that third wave of COVID, then you have succeeded to a point where you have just not have you have just not you have not gotten it yet. So we're gonna we're in the like the third part, the four almost the fourth quarter of the year. So this is the third quarter here. The next quarter will be the fourth quarter. When it starts getting cold and you start getting sick, and once everybody starts getting sick. They might just say, oh, it's COVID-19. Because you can't breathe. Or you didn't cut the flu. And they didn't say, oh, no, it's not the flu. It's the COVID. Just to blame it on the COVID. You got to put your, your eyes and your ears to... You need to listen and, and see with your eyes. You understand? The, to shift and, and, and guide your way through the bull crap that's going on. Because there's a lot of bull crap. You got Donald Trump saying that he just got coronavirus. And he's all cured now after a few days. Of getting it, you know. All I'm waiting for now is for them to say, "Oh yeah, we have the cure," and then everything goes back to normal. But it's not gonna ever go back to normal. Things are gonna be messed up for a long time, and people have lost family members. And for him to come out and act like, "Oh, it was nothing. Don't you don't have anything to fear." Oh, a lot of people have lots of things to fear because they have complications, you know. Some people, you know, most people do not have access to a ventilator right away like the president would have had. So most people, the average Joe would be waiting in the emergency room, uh, waiting to, to be helped. Like my friend, he didn't even get to make it to the emergency room. They try to say that he had a massive uh, 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 asthma attack and he, and he lost uh, air circulation to the brain. And next thing you know, he had to go. He went to the hospital and, and they said there was nothing they could do because he didn't lost too much. Uh, he lost um, his brain been without too much with without oxygen too long. So. He has brain damage, and he, there's, there's, then he, you know, he died from that, from having a massive brain damage from no oxygen to the brain. So, and that was a friend I went to school with, high school friend, you know, and and for him to come out all, all fresh and clean, like, you know, it really wasn't nothing, you know. For Trump to go in and oh he had a mild you know cough and and stuff like that. It's just crazy, you know, how he can 
get over it so quick and most people you know don't so I want to let y'all know you know it's really no no choices really there's really no choices when it, when it comes to voting because there's there's really no good choice you really don't even know who to, to vote for you know so it's like you went it even it's like you won't win and you and <laughs> You even if you, you your 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 candidate wins, you still lost because there's something that you disliked about your candidate, or there's something that you just didn't agree with, <clears throat> and that's what it that's what you got to do when it comes to these presidents. Now, you you don't agree with everything, but you have to agree with some of it. Because maybe it's something that that they're doing that that you like. So. It's going to be a hard voting season. We got a lot of roads ahead of us. And <clears throat> some long roads ahead. A lot of turmoil, tragedy, loss of life is about to come. This election. It's going to be the worst election. This right here is going to be the destruction of America, probably. No matter who wins, it's going to be destruction at the election. Mark my words. <clears throat> 